hi guys today i'm going to show you how to create a flat file connection and how to create a database connection in this video so please watch it till the end if you wanna know and uh, let's go to the topic go to administrator module and uh, go to connections here in the left side and uh, uh, here you can see whatever available connections in this window just go to new new connection and give the connection name here uh, something i am giving a, a flat file connection one so ffsrc flat file connection one it's my source file path i'm going to create for my source file path flat file path so i'm just going to give here flat file uh, because i'm creating flat file connection and description something you have to give to understand the user like suppose if anybody who is not the um, informatica user uh, informatica developer someone has seen uh, this connection they have to identify for which why we are using this connection and why we, we have created this connection so give some meaningful description here and uh, type i already told here you can see runtime environment uh, you have to give secure agent on where yeah, this is my a uh, secure agent in my local machine and um, and uh, here directory is there so where in which path for which path you are creating the source flat file uh, sorry flat file connection that one you have to give here and my directory is um, i'll check here one more thing i just want to show here browse option is there in normally in your organization if you are not it's not a free trail version if you are paid version then uh, iacs will not give this error you can see uh, administrator privileges are not there for me because i'm using trail version if you are not using trail version this will not give directly you can uh, uh, take the location from uh, browsing here uh, but now i'm i'm going to give manually so this is my source file reading path so these are my source files and this is the path for this path i am going to create the flat file connection here and i'm just giving the directory and here you can see date format is there this is like uh, in your file suppose if any date fields are there then it is going to take in this format if milliseconds will be there then it is going to truncate because here you can see mmtd yyy and hours minutes and uh, seconds there is no milliseconds after seconds so this format you want to change milliseconds if you want then you can give this format and nanoseconds if you want then you can give this format like this the the format see here it's there like in which format you want to see the data in your uh, um, a target or in your source file then uh, at the time you have to particular about the date formats then you have to give uh, that date format here otherwise you have to uh, write some um, uh, functions in uh, expression level uh, to convert the date but uh, initially i have faced one issue in my uh, project like uh, we are getting milliseconds also uh, in source file but it's going to truncate uh, because of this issue uh, this format we are giving ss here uh, after that i have changed the here like the format so for every field we are getting complete uh, with uh, complete date with uh, milliseconds so that's why i am just mentioning here be careful with the date format which you want to select here and the code page uh, this is utf8 i am just going to select and uh, just uh, save this one okay already this name is existed this name so already i have in my system so i'm giving it's giving error so i'm giving two you can see it's a save and now and just go to test connection just test it it's working or not yes it's working it's valid so the test connection is uh, successful now i'm going to create a database connection as well so i'll show you what are the properties you have to fill for a database connection so this is the connection name i have to give uh, i'm just giving oracle db connection to 
um, and the description you have to mention here to understand other users or in your teammates so give some meaningful meaningful description and uh, here you have to select in type you have to select oracle if suppose you are using other uh, databases you have to select those databases right now i am selecting oracle and here you can see runtime environment uh, you have to give uh, uh, informatica secure agent on which agent you are going to create uh, this connection and uh, for uh, oracle subtype uh, if you are using trial version you have to give oracle on premise and username you have to mention uh, username um, this is uh, username and password whenever you are uh, installing your oracle software you are going to create some username and password right so that name username and password you have to give when you are working on trial version if suppose if any or in organizations you are working so ask your admin team they will provide this username and password and host also like port actually for uh, um, even whenever you are creating oracle software in your system then 1521 is the default port it will take you can change it as well but uh, the default if you are not doing any changes 1521 is the port and the service name this is the service name is nothing but sid when you are creating oracle um, uh, software when you are installing that time uh, sid will sid it will show service name and um, these are the mandatory and code page you have to give utf8 whatever you want uh, and the schema is not mandatory suppose uh, you want to use for a particular schema you want to create for only particular schema uh, the connection then you have to give the schema yeah these are the the star wherever we are seeing the star those are the mandatory fields and if you don't know when you are working with uh, any organization if you don't know these details like username password host port service name all these things if you are not if you don't know then ask your admin that's it guys after giving all these details just save and test the connection if uh, you will get the uh, successful message on top then after, after uh, clicking on this test connection then your test connection is successful so that's it